Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosell. Yesterday I recorded a video unboxing my new camcorder and it is the Canon XA40. It's uh, the beginning of Canon's professional camcorder range that also includes the XA40, XA45, XA50 and XA55. And um, I spent a good deal of yesterday after unboxing it, which I recorded. Um, I upgraded to this from the Vixia HF R800, which is actually what I'm shooting th this video on. Um, I spent a bit of time unboxing, reading the instruction manual, recording some test footage in low light conditions and in outdoor conditions and uh, absolutely incredible camcorder. Now the only thing that took me a little bit of time to figure out and that's why I'm making a video because I don't see anyone else who's covered this subject so far on YouTube is setting levels for a 3.5mm mic. So the first thing to say about audio on this guy is I have it configured here with the professional um, top on and I intend leaving it like that because I'm always going to want to potentially use XLR audio as I upgrade my microphones and on this side of uh, the panel you do have your channel 1 and channel 2 uh, gain trims and you have switch switches there as you can see to turn on 48 volt phantom power on either channel or just leave them as regular mics so you can just toggle these switches like so or put them line 1 line 2 uh, and you have channel 1, channel 2, you have your uh, on off switch um, and toggling between manual and auto for the gain control so if I go this way uh, they're already on manual and then I can just gain the thing so as far as I know this control panel is only for your two XLR inputs which are on the other side of the hood the 3.5mm Canon have decided to put it in the actual main body itself and just on just as on the Vixia which is as I say is what I upgraded to you have mic uh, this is mic on the right yeah this is mic on the right and this is 3.5 out for monitoring on the left so they're side by side just as they are on the uh, consumer camcorder and they've got a little dust cover so you need to open up that dust cover and uh, the dust cover in case you're ever confused or you can't exactly make out the ports everything's labeled so as you can see there's a headphone setting for uh, the port on the left th the 3.5 or 8th on the left and there's a microphone uh, mic written there so that you know that the 3.5 mil on the right is where you connect your 3.5 milliliter microphone millimeter microphone not milliliter so that's all well and good so let me just take out a 3.5 uh, microphone to connect to this camcorder i've purposely chosen a super basic but compact cam uh, microphone for this video it's battery powered now something about the this camera is that you do have the ability to it does have it can give 2.4 volts of dc power therefore it doesn't have the limitation of my previous camcorder the vixia um which didn't give any and therefore you needed to attach self-powered microphones and if you are using self-powered microphones you probably want to turn off that power and i'm going to show you how to do that momentarily so just to remind myself right is microphone so getting it connected is pretty easy you just obviously need to plop your um put your connector into the connection and just for the sake of convenience i'm going to mount this uh, little shotgun microphone here up on the mount uh, at the top of the top handle actually that's the only cold sh accessory shoe available because um, this one gets used up by the actual top handle itself. So now I've got my battery powered microphone powered on, it's connected. So let me show you now what you can do in terms of levels. I'm gonna turn on the camera. I have the shutter closed so there's really nothing that you're gonna be able to see, uh, but hopefully you can see the settings on this screen. So you can see on the bottom right corner, I'm getting levels and it's saying channel one, or channel two so there's a few things that you need to cycle through um, in order in order to get to this now I'm gonna press the menu button which is located I've actually configured a shortcut key on the LCD display for menu but the typical way to do that is just by pressing menu um, on the bottom right so I'm using the LCD and I'm just gonna use the joystick so that I can film while I go so you want to get into your audio settings okay now I'm in audio, then you want to come down a level and you can see you've got one, two and three. Now one and two, as far as I know, are your XLR inputs. So as I have nothing connected 
uh, to either XLR, there's nothing showing. But if I go on to channel three, aha, we're getting something. So the first setting says mic ALC link, and I have it set to link. Now, if I go up there, your options are going to be linked or separated. Now, what separated does is you're probably going to want to use linked. Separated is going to put the 3.5mm microphone on its own channel and the microphone's internal uh, microphone on its own channel. So you're going to get two channels. So you want to actually, if you're intending to use this as your microphone, I would keep this on linked. And I'm just going to go back there. Now, mic power, this is where you can um, adjust the power. So if you have a microphone that, again, if it needs power by turning it on, you're going to give it, I think it's 2.4 volts of DC power. But as I said, you don't want to put power into a microphone that's not intended uh, to get any power whatsoever from uh, whatever it's plugged into. Therefore, um, I have turned it to off just to be safe because I'm in the process of really upgrading all my mics to XLR. Um, headphone volume is there and monitoring channels um, is where you can change the uh, monitoring channels that this guy's going to be recording onto. So what I'm going to do here, and that's basically it. So just to confirm, the most important thing we did there, just to go back rather, was to go to channel 3, which is going to be our 3.5mm input, and in the top setting, mic ALC link, you want to have that guy set to link, and mic power is important as well, depending on uh, whether you're using a 3.5mm microphone that um, you know needs power or it's self-powered like my one. My one, as you can see, it's got a little battery in it, therefore I'm keeping mine too off. So that's the first half of what I wanted to show in this video. The second half, so now we can see we're picking up levels and those levels, channel one and two are together. Watch what happens when I turn this guy to off. My levels have completely dropped to zero. So basically, once you connect a microphone into the 3.5 mil jack, it's automatically, I'm gonna turn it back on. A little difficult to hold the camera. Now I've turned it on and now, hey presto, we're getting levels again. So basically, as soon as you connect a 3.5 mil microphone, um, it's going to automatically jump over to that from the built-in microphone. Now the final thing I wanted to show in this short video, well short-ish video, was how to set levels. And this is where I was getting stuck. I was like, well, for XLR microphones, you've got your little trims up here and you can toggle on phantom power and uh, you put them in here. What about 3.5 mil? Where does that uh, go down? So the, the answer is, now I have one criticism or one unfortunate thing is that you don't seem to be able to configure the menu level setting as a custom key. Uh, which is what I have on the Vixia. So that's actually kind of annoying. So basically, if you're using 3.5 mil micro, or sorry, XLR microphones, it's easier to uh, work with this camcorder because then you can just use uh, the settings here and not have to go into the menu at all. But if you do have 3.5 mil microphones uh, like me, most of my mics are currently 3.5, uh, you're gonna have to do a little bit of, uh, spend a bit of time here. So after pressing on function, you wanna click on that icon below zoom it says it's got a little kind of musical note symbol there and now you can see channel one and two are linked together that's because we've gone for the linked setting now if i didn't go for that setting one of those channels would be from 3.5 and the other channel would be from internal and hey presto we've got our level it's currently set to 31 and we can see where everything is peaking and just as on the consumer camcorders this is in my opinion for audio because audio is so important in video potentially one of the most important features in the camcorder is the ability to automatically change the gain so you can see i've reduced it to 17 and now we're getting peaks at somewhere like 10. my test is always to stop speaking for a couple of seconds and if i'm in a quiet environment like this my home office I don't want to be seeing a sound recording because if I crank this guy up to, let's say, and this, I think it's a zero to 100 scale. Let's go all the way to 40. Now we can see we're going way, way, uh, clipping into zero with everything. And if I don't speak, we're getting levels. And if I were to monitor that audio, that would be hissing. So I actually find with the Canon, you firstly, if you're using an external mic, you have to go for, um, manual level. I mean, you can go for manual, but as you can see, the levels are disastrous. Uh, so something I picked up from the Canon forums is that if you're using external mics, 
3.5 mil mics with Canon, you need to do manual level setting. And I have found that typically, now it's a little bit low, 18, 18, testing, one, two, three. 18 looks a bit right, and it's always easier in post-production to kind of touch up the gain a little bit than it is to work with audio that's clipping. Uh, so I'm gonna leave, if I were using this camcorder now, I'd use it, I'd set it to level 18. And once you're there, again, unfortunately, I don't know of any way to configure this very important page as a shortcut key, but it's not so hard to get there. You just need to tap on function uh, on the uh, LCD display. Um, and if you're not already there, you can actually use, yep, you can use the joystick just to toggle one down. And then you've got your channels and you can edit the, if I can, yeah, I can actually use the joystick to, I'm, I'm using the joystick now, as you can see, because I'm not touching the screen, uh, to just change those manual settings. So that's how you set your levels manually for a 3.5 millimeter microphone on the uh, Canon XA40 uh, professional or a prosumer camcorder. I hope this video is useful um, and feel free to subscribe if you'd like to get more videos from me on this YouTube channel.